Kai is lying on her side with her arms straight up. And the fibers of the arm, they run straight up and down. And we're just going to come across them one way or the other. So, this is how easy we can make it. I'm standing on the right side of the table. And with my left hand, I'm going to reach all the way around. I'm going to set my fingers like the tines of a leaf rake and walk around the other side of the table. From this side, from the left side of the table, I'm going to reach around with my right hand as far as I can, set my fingers like the tines of a leaf rake and walk around to the other side of the table. I call this walking around the maypole. Very simple, very effective. There are two very important principles that we establish with AMR, and that is one is that the stroke is one time. With AMR we do not sit on muscles, we don't stroke back and forth with pressure, we don't go too slowly because the muscle tenses slightly. So with AMR, just like when you're combing your hair or raking leaves, the stroke is one time. One time and a complete release of the muscle because if you, if you comb back your hair back and forth with pressure, it doesn't have the same effect. When you're rowing a boat, if you don't take your oars out of the water on the way back, it doesn't have the same effect. And it's the same here. If you stroke back and forth with pressure, it doesn't have the same effect. Muscles are tensing slightly. Everything we do is about stimulating muscles so long as they're not tensing to resist. So to those ends, then, the stroke is one time. We don't, we, I never come in here and sit and press. Everything's flowing. So just like when you're on a boat, you don't, you don't stick your oars in and hold them. You, you stick them in and you go. So the stroke is one time, complete release of the muscle. One time, complete release of the muscle. The other aspect of what we want to do is we want to maximize stimulation, so again, so long as the muscle remains relaxed. So for some people, it's going to vary to the, to the part, to the individual. So some places, you're going to have to go real light. That's all they can handle. Other places can take a little more pressure to stimulate fibers deep in there. And so that is our golden rule. We want to maximize stimulation so long as they're relaxed where we're working. With this work, they can, they can tense any place else except where we're working. So right here, you tell me then, how's that? A little more pressure? What would you like? I could probably take a little more pressure. And a little more? There we go. And so we, what we do with AMR is we engage our patient. What I actually do is I, I, I teach the patient to guide me because I can't tell. I can't, sometimes, you know, again, they could be tensing slightly and take it. We don't want them to. So if you have any doubt whether you're tensing or not, you have me lighten up for comparison. Now, the muscles of the hand, many muscles of the hand start way up here at the elbow. So for any hand or wrist condition, I'm thinking of this, the whole, starting at the elbow all the way to the hand. And again, many of the muscles, they start right, right up here. So for any hand condition, I would start right up here. Bam. From this side, reach around. And what we want to do, of course, is we want to, we want to cover the entire circumference of the arm. And that's, that's why we reach all the way around one way. We want overkill. We, we don't want to leave any portion unaddressed. And now Kai happens to be a surfer, and so she lies on her board and she paddles and she works those triceps a lot. So working way up here, and those triceps might feel very good to her. Does it? That spot is very involved. Very involved. But I want you to know that unless she told me that, I really can't tell by feeling. Yeah, that's really involved right there. And that's another principle of AMR, is we, we preach to get over this idea that we know better than the patient what's involved or what's not involved or, or that we can tell by feeling what the problem is. We cannot. Because quite simply, your muscles, they start out like a plump, juicy hot dog, they slowly age into crispy bacon. And you can age gracefully. You know, like a, you can buy a new car, drive it 100,000 miles, never had a breakdown. It still has 100,000 miles on it. 
there's 10,000 shades of gray between hot dog and bacon. And so you can have what feel like old bacony patterns to your fingers, but they're holding stable, they're not symptomatic. And to another person, an area that feels fleshier, fleshier and better to your fingers is symptomatic. So really what we need to do is get over this whole notion, we know better than the client what they feel, what's involved and what's not involved. You will be mistaken. Your muscles, they develop knots in ropes. And so when you're younger, maybe it's just a hard core in an otherwise fleshy muscle. As we age, whole groups of muscles clump and shrink wrap together. And so sometimes the whole thing is clumped and shrink wrapped. And that's where these beginner level strokes are so very, very effective at opening up the whole thing. Here is the, the power that is within your grasp from these very simple strokes. I had a client that was in his 50s. He had a chronic elbow condition. And here's the thing, it doesn't feel like a muscle. It felt deep in the joint, like arthritis. And I had a rookie student doing this right here, walking around the Maypole, and three, three half hour sessions of walking around the Maypole, and it hasn't been a problem since. He's playing golf again. And quite simply then, you just, it's, you think of around the elbow, and you think of going either way. And as you explore up and down, your client's going to tell you what feels involved or what doesn't feel involved. So for this particular client, as he, as he went around, it was you know, mostly right around the doggone elbow joint. Right around that doggone elbow joint. Do not be afraid to go right over around what you think is skin and bone. Because very often what you think is skin and bone is crustified muscular attachment. And they'll tell you, oh yeah, that's it, that's it. And then you can explore. And the, the patient's body, it's going to talk to them. It's going to tell them. It's going to talk to them where it wants more attention. And if you get too far away, they'll go, nah, doesn't feel involved, not really there. And for this client, it was mostly right in through here. And again, this is the power that is within your grasp right now from these very simple, simple strokes. And then practice with these very simple strokes prepares your hands for the more advanced manipulation of skin and flesh that is AMR.